Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gerben from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 136, Calculate Rent on a Sliding Scale. All right, today's question. Uh, they have a container that they are renting and the rent is calculated per day, but it changes as a sliding scale. So the first week, $5 a day. Second two weeks, $10 per day. And then after that, it ramps up to $20 a day. They really must want to get this container back. Uh, so for the first, uh, for example, 41 days, $5 a day times the first seven days, $10 a day times the next 14 days. And then we have 7 plus 14, 21. 41 minus 21 is 20 days times $20, 575. Oh, that sounds like one of those sliding income tax uh, scale problems that I'm sure you've run into along the way. But rather than do all that hard brain work to figure it out, I'm just going to switch over to VBA Alt F11 insert module new function called rent and it's the number of days. This is the most inefficient code in the world but it required no thinking at all on my part for i equals 1 to the number of days. So in that 41 we're actually going to loop through here 41 times. Oh yeah, this is inefficient but that's okay. Select case i, which day is it? If it stays 1 to 7 we add $5. Days 8 to 21 add $10. After that we're adding $20. Boy, I'd hate to throw a thousand to this, but it looks like they're only running it for 40, 50, 60 days. We'll switch back here, Alt F11 equal rent. And we're going to watch just how long it takes to calculate. It's probably going to be 30, 40 seconds. No, it's really fast. Who cares how efficient it was? Unless I have a million of these or a thousand of these, it's calculating just as fast as any other formula would calculate. So there, there we go. A, uh, a horribly inefficient user defined function. Uh, get the problem done and go on our way. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, Mr. Excel wins for two reasons. Rent with VBA in that case, absolutely awesome. Now, the second reason that he's going to get five points this time instead of one is because he, uh, I couldn't figure this out. And I sent him an email and says, I can't figure this out. And he goes, oh, it's just like a tax problem. And I was like, ugh. Couldn't believe it. I was stuck down some channel, couldn't figure it out. Mr. Excel comes to the rescue. Now, he said case was cheap. Here's a cheap way to do it. We can just use the if. Now, for big tables, if we have lots of categories, this if would not work. But hey, I'm just going to say if this is less than 8, then please just give me whatever's in this cell times the 5. Otherwise, and we still have a couple situations left, so in the value of false, we say if. Now, in this case, we're between 7 and 21, so we're going to use the and function. I'm going to say if this is greater than 7 and this is less than 22, one above the upper limit for this category, if both of those conditions are true in the and, then what do we want? Well, we have the base from the previous category of 35 plus this minus the 7 we've already accounted for times the amount for this category 10. Otherwise, and there's only one case left, well, we had 175. That's if you added uh, from the previous two categories plus whatever in parentheses is here minus the 21 already accounted for times the 20. Wow. I'm going to close parentheses, close parentheses, look for that black control enter, double click and send it down. Now that'll work just fine, but imagine if you had many categories, you'd be you'd create this huge formula. Now, the, the alternative is to do a lookup. And just like Mr. Excel said for case, it's super easy just to write it out. This is probably super easy because sometimes the tables that you'd have to use for taxes or piecemeal or rent like this can be tricky to create. They're worth creating if you have lots of categories. Now I have a video. Uh, Excel Magic Trick 453 that does VLOOKUP for a tax commission table and Excel Magic Trick 825 for a piecemeal that's similar to this example. Oh man, so I built this table here and when you're doing a lookup like this, we have to look up multiple things. So I always find it easy to for take one example, hundred so for this 41 right here, 175 plus, we're going to have to take 41 minus 21. That's already kind of our times 20. I write that out, and then I look how that relates to doing a VLOOKUP. This 175, as this table I set up, would be in the fifth column. 
Then I say plus the cell, the 41. And then a VLOOKUP, well, the amount to subtract from the 41 would be in the fourth column, that 21 right there. Finally, close off the parentheses. And VLOOKUP, the third column, because that has the amount. So you do something like lookup. I'm going to say, hey, look up that comma within our big, huge table, F4. And this is column 5, right? So that would return all the way down just the amount from the previous brackets. Now I'm going to copy this VLOOKUP. Control C and just change the column each time. Plus, and then we have to take the units from here, minus, and this VLOOKUP. Well, we're subtracting number made through the previous category, so we need that 21. So that's column 4. We have to close this parentheses off times another VLOOKUP. That is looking up the amount right here. That's in the third column. So I simply change this to a 3. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Oh, all right, uh, thanks to Mr. Excel for saving me. I was stuck down some weird conceptual rut, unable to see this problem as a simple tax, uh, various rate, tax table, piecemeal lookup. All right, send it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, Mike, that's a uh, great formula. It made me think that uh, you know, I complained this morning when I initially recorded this that the uh, logic would be too difficult, so I just did this horrible loop here. I took your uh, logic from the formula and just said, hey, let's do select case days. If it's greater than 21, we have 7 times 5, 14 times 10, and then days minus 21 times 20. If the rent or the days is greater than 7, uh, then 7 times 5 plus days minus 7 times 10. Otherwise, it's just days minus 5 times 5. So it's those three conditions you had in the if statement. Uh, but here in the VBA, and we'll just come back and um, so there's the equal rent getting the exact same answers that we did. Equal RNT getting the exact same answers as RENT. So lots of different ways to solve this problem. Uh, so you, I helped you out with the, uh, hey, it's just like a tax problem, and you helped me out with the, that logic is not as bad as you think it is. So there you go. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel, and Excel is fun.